crypto renegade here in this video they just barely announced the brand new trezor safe 5 as you just saw in the demo video that we just saw before this it's quite amazing and there's a few details they obviously didn't talk about in that first video so i'm here to kind of break it all down for you stay tuned you do not want to miss this one <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So we officially have the successor to the Trezor Model T. This has been a long time coming. And first, I think they wanted to do, as it was last year or the year before, they did the Trezor Safe 3 as a replacement for the Trezor Model 1. And they've been working on the Trezor Safe 5, which is its fifth generation product. Wondering why they went from Trezor Safe 3 to Trezor Safe 5, it's because it's their fifth gen and wanted to differentiate it from being confused with the Trezor Model T and the rest of the lineup and so on and so forth. But this thing is packed with a lot of the similar features and security measures that they have in the Trezor Safe 3. But of course, there are some upgrades. And again, we're gonna break this down real quick. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and then I have an announcement for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So let's dive right into this. Again, if you watch my Trezor Safe 3 video, which I'll leave linked down below in the description, I'm gonna kind of cover the same things and then touch here on the focus points for Trezor Safe 5. But again, it has a 1.54 inch touchscreen, just like the Trezor Model T did. It's got a different form factor that's very similar to the Trezor Safe 3, but again, it's much bigger in overall footprint, similar to the Trezor Model T. You do have the Secure Element EAL6 certified element chip, and you have, of course, the pin and passphrase protection that you don't get on the Trezor Safe 3, being the passphrase protection, not the pin. Pin is standard across all of them. And then of course you have the Trezor Suite integration and everything works really well. You do have an option between a Bitcoin only hardware wallet, which is in gold. And then of course you have the regular wallet, which works with thousands of coins, tokens, apps, so on and so forth. This one comes with three distinct colors for it. It has the graphite black, which is pretty standard. They also have the violet ore and the green barrel that we talked about. This is something I can't wait to get my hands on because I've been looking for a valid replacement for the Trezor Model T. And, and as far as user experience and as far as what you can expect, if you already own a Trezor Safe 3, it's gonna be very similar. Obviously it's bigger, it's gonna have more features and more functions. They added a haptic feedback. So you have the full touch screen and then you have a, a Trezor Touch haptic feedback. This is designed for when transactions get confirmed, when it wants you to take an action. Just another tactile function, which is kind of intuitive and kind of cool. That's a new feature that's strictly on this device only. I don't know if this is gonna be something that's gonna be needed for most users. It's just sort of like a cool feature uh, that they added. So I, I think it's pretty nifty here. Obviously they go into protected by the secure element, same exact secure element chip they put in this Tre Trezor Safe 3, yet everything is still open source. So they say, and you can go ahead and audit the code. They went ahead and added a new scratch-free Gorilla Glass protection that just makes it more durable, less scratch, scratch resistant, those kinds of things. Still the same backup system, you know, all the great stuff. So here's where we kind of get into the meat of the Trezor Safe 5 specifically. I won't read this whole thing here, but this is sort of like the, the Cliff Notes version of like what it's so different. And I'll, again, I'll do a full review once I get it in my hands and kind of break everything down for you. But the biggest thing here is that you have the full color screen, touch screen, Whereas, of course, there is no touchscreen on the Trezor Safe 3. 
It gives you now the tactile feedback we talked about, it has the haptic engine, and it also has upgraded navigation, easier to read, easier to confirm and sign transactions, those kinds of things. It says it provides, it employs an NDA-free EAL6 secure element chip along with pin and passphrase protection, ensuring strong defense against both online and offline threats. The addition of the 20 word, the addition of an enhanced 20 word wallet backup standard allows for a seamless transition from a, sing, a standard single share backup to an advanced multi-share backup, enhancing wallet recovery protection with added security measures. So that means basically it used to be 12 or it used to be 24. This is a new standard that they're going through to make it a little bit easier and, and sort of differentiate it. It's still the BIP39 standard, so you're gonna be fine either way. They're just trying to find a way to make it more secure and to sort of simplify it and also make it unique. Um, but everything it will be, as far as recovery, is gonna be the same in terms of functionality. Of course, it's saying it has all the mobile apps and the desktop apps. And it, by the way, if you didn't know, there is a read-only Trezor app now where on your iPhone or Android where you can just view your balances and sort of just look at the read-only status of your portfolio. Obviously, this is a plug-in USB-C device, so you will need to plug it in in order to manage your portfolio, send, receive, all that kind of stuff. But the app will allow you to view your balances and sort of give you a bird's eye view of what's going on, uh, which is cool. That didn't exist the last time we made this kind of video. So big things here is, or, or the selling points here is they have the full color touchscreen, same as what they had before. They added haptic feedback, Gorilla Glass 3, which is nice. They just kind of upgraded the display to differentiate it. Um, still USB-C connection, um, you can send, receive, stake, and trade. And it, this still has the micro SD card slot for those that want it. So I know that was a big demand feature for the Trezor Model T, but this is one of the main ones that they wanted to make sure that they maintained in terms of having that added security if you wanted to do that. EAL6 Plus, open source security and design, pin and passphrase, on-device entry. Um, you can choose between 12, 20, and 24 wallet backups, so you have the choice. Um, their default's going to be 20. Again, it's all BIP39 compatible, so either way you're going to be fine. And it has an advanced multi-share backup um, where you can decentralize it. I'll go more into that when I get the device in my hand and do the full unboxing and review. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard here using the same chip, same processor as the Trezor Safe 3. And as far as more memory and more coins, you still get the same coins you would on Trezor Model T on this one. So there is still a lack of some coins on the Trezor Save 3 that you're only gonna get here on the Trezor Save 5. So keep that in mind. One thing that they did add, and which I think is kind of cool, is they did give an option now, which is brand new, where if you wanna have like a one-on-one -on -one video call to have someone walk you through, give you a tutorial, you know, helping you set it up, having any security questions, those kinds of things, they allow you to do that for a $99 fee to have a video conference which I think is needed in the space. There's a lot of people that are doing that, and I might actually have a solution for that coming out later this year, but this is a, a step in the right direction where you know you don't have to just go on YouTube and find a tutorial and hope for the best. Like you can have, if you want someone that wants that, that hand-holding, this allows you to have that option if you wanted to pay $99 to help you through setup, answer questions, and sort of just have a private session, if you will, which is really cool. And it's available on all wallets, not just this new one. So the new lineup here is the Trezor Model 1 entry level, $59. Trezor Safe 3 is still at $79. This one is now the top of the line, which is replacing the Trezor Model T at $169. You can pre-order it now. It starts shipping in July of 2024, all the way through August and September, depending on demand. So these are coming fairly quick and this is gonna go fast. So if this is something that you've been waiting for or that you want, I highly recommend checking out the link down below in the description. It gives you an extra bonus and it obviously helps out the channel, but go ahead and check that out if this is something you wanna get. They do still have a limited number of Bitcoin only versions if that's your thing, perfect, or they have the standard ones. And the, the last time they did the Bitcoin only for Trezor Safe 3, it sold out right away on all the pre-orders and it took a long time to come back. So. You can pick whichever one you want. And then of course you have the FAQs. What's the difference between the, the five and the three? Again, comes back to just sort of the user interface, the 
haptic feedback, same overall kind of design and, and so on and so forth. Basically, this is sort of our, our first look and overview of the Trezor Say 5. Just to recap, it's replacing the Trezor Model T. It's fully upgraded with the same sort of design language, let's say, on the Trezor Safe 3 and it's pretty pretty straightforward. Same coin support as the Trezor Model T. I'll, go into the, I'll link this down below, obviously, so you can go ahead and check it out and you know search for your specific coins and tokens. As you kind of go to the back to the bottom here where it's kind of comparable, you know, like compare Trezors. Basically, it, you know, there's certain coins that are available on the Safe 3 and the Safe 5, but are not obviously gonna be on the Trezor Safe 1. You know, this just sort of has a breakdown of all, you know, what's included, what's not included. And I'll be honest with you, the Trezor Safe 3 versus the Trezor Safe 5, from a security standpoint, is basically they're gonna be the same for you. What you're getting by going with the Trezor Safe 5 is there are a few new coins and tokens that are supported there. Do my full unboxing review, I'll get into that. It's really just the form factor, the touch screen, the haptic feedback, those sort of new features. And obviously it's a, it's a bigger, larger device. This will also work with the new Exodus app that had a previous integration with Trezor Model T. This will just be in addition to. So it doesn't make your Trezor Model T obsolete if that's what you're wearing. This is just sort of the the newest version or the newest update and they're still keeping this keeping the price lower at 169 dollars and i believe the trezor model t before i filmed this was right around 200 so this is actually a better value but if you're looking between the trezor safe 3 and the trezor safe 5 i'll do a full breakdown video but they're very similar it's just you get gorilla glass you get the haptic feedback you get the bigger screen it's a touch screen versus two buttons and so that's really kind of way it breaks down if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And as far as my announcement, I started another channel where I get more into sort of like the day-to-day -day changes and updates and news of what's going on with crypto news, crypto security, that kind of thing. I'll link it in the description and at the end screen of this video. It's called Crypto Renegade Updates. I'm posting a minimum of there of three times a week. And if you guys like the content, obviously I'll start posting more, potentially six days a week and going from there. But go ahead and check out that new channel. That's where I'm gonna be from now on posting most of my content. And this channel is only gonna stay for crypto hardware wallet reviews, and it's only gonna stay for the crypto security focused stuff. But I wanted to get more options and more up-to-date news rather than I'm gonna use for that other channel. So go ahead and oh, go ahead over there, check out those videos. I believe as of filming this, there's seven or eight, maybe more already uploaded and more coming. So very, fairly new channel, go support it. I'd appreciate it. And then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, check out the link down below on this. And then until next time, I will see you guys on the Crypto Renegade Updates channel. Go check it out now. Crypto Renegade out.